Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you a little bit about the Tribe One Pack Net. The pack Net is basically a cargo net for your backpack, but the way you use it is what makes it special. It features six of our Tribe One Pack Tatches. And if you're not already familiar with how the Pack Tatches work, go to the Pack Tatch page of our website and check out our video on different ways to use the Pack Tatch. In this video, however, I'm going to show you how to connect the Pack Net to a bag, different ways to configure it and some of its best uses. All right, once you've got your pack net out of the package, you wanna go ahead and hook up your pack tatches to the bag. Now to save a little bit of time, I've already hooked them up to this pack. And as you can see here, I've got three along this side, top, middle, and bottom. And I've got three on the other side lined up with these. Now, depending on the size of your pack, it might dictate where you place your pack tatches. For instance, you might throw the uh, bottom pack tatch a little bit lower, or you might take your top pack tatches and put them up a little bit higher. But for this size pack, what we've got laid out here is perfect. So the next step you want to take is actually connecting the net to the bag. You'll notice here on the pack net that each of the legs has two loops to it. And for this size pack, I'm going to use the inner loop. A little bit later, I'll show you where that outer loop comes into play. So I'm going to go ahead and hook these up. Just come around the bag. Open up your carabiner. Hook the loops into them. I'm just going to do this all the way around the back. All right, now that I've got this hooked up, net's on the bag. It's a little skitty wampus and kind of just all hanging here. But we'll show you how to get some gear in there and how to tighten this thing up. All right, guys, now that we got the net on the bag, we're going to go ahead and put some gear in it. Now, of course, there's no right or wrong way to put a gear in the bag. So you just kind of do it to what you think is going to work best. But I'm going to go ahead and place uh, you know, a tent in here first. I like to keep my heavier items at the bottom. I like to go ahead and undo uh, my bottom loop from the carabiner just so I can get my first piece of gear in there nice and easy. And more or less, you just kind of shove it in there. I'm going to hook this back up here, center it up just a little bit, and grab my second piece of gear, this little police sleeping bag here. And again, I'm just going to shove that in there, get the cord out to the outside, center the piece up a bit, might shift all of it down just a hair. So what I like to do is anytime I've got maybe three pieces of gear, I like to try to get the center piece of gear right aligned with the hub in the middle there. Go ahead and throw the last piece of gear in there, which is a little backpacking table. And you'll see that once I've got this in here, I've got a couple options actually. If I've got a shorter piece coming with these two lines over it might be sufficient. When I've got something a little bit longer for a little added extra security, I like to actually bring the outside of the web over the top. So I'll stand this up here so you can take a look. So you can see I've got all three pieces of gear in the pack, nice and neat. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do with these uh, extra loops on the side. All right, guys, I went ahead and put the bag back on the stand here to make it a little bit easier to show you some of the features of the loop system. But before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about the functionality of the net as a whole. Now, if you compare the pack net to using 550 cord or bag straps or even traditional bungee to secure your gear, one of the advantages that it has is we use a 3 16 military spec shock cord. This shock cord has a 300 pound tensile string and is very strong. So as soon as you get gear in, it's automatically giving you a lot of resistance and pulling it right back into the bag. Now with 550 cord, if I pull a piece of gear out, for example, chances are I'm going to lose most of the configuration of whatever I've tied down and the other objects are going to become a little bit loose on the pack, if not fall all the way out. So the pack net is great for being able to get your gear in and out of the bag without compromising the integrity of the other gear. Another benefit is that as the gear inside my bag shifts or if I pull gear out of the bag, the net's still going to hold my gear on nice and secure. All right, let's go over some of the final features of the pack net, specifically the loop system. So I'm going to turn the display here. And as you can see, the cords are just kind of hanging down, uh, you know, towards the bottom of the bag. And what I like to do, specifically when I'm not carrying any gear on the side of my bag, is I just take the loop and I bring it down to the carabiner just below it. Now what this does is it draws tension out of the net, kind of tightens everything up, and gives it a nice aesthetic look. I take the bottom loop and I just hook it right back to that same carabiner to keep it out of the way from getting caught on things. 
Now, as you can see here, I've got everything nice and secure, but let's say I wanna add a little tension to the net system, maybe tighten things up just a bit. A good way to do that is to use the loop system. Now, I'm gonna take that loop right here, and I'm actually gonna bring it down and come underneath the joint of the web, pull it through and come back to the carabiner. Now, once I do that, you'll notice that it's drawn tension out of the net system. It's pulled it up and into the bag. Now, I, of course, can do this around all six points on the system, which will really secure things down to the pack. Another way to use that loop is to actually take it through the side web here and draw it back down to the second carabiner. Now, what this does is it creates some additional coverage area. It also tightens up the gear back into the bag again. And with this additional coverage area, I might drive a trekking pole down there or another object to be held in by that additional coverage. Okay, one of the final features of the loop system is that if you have a secondary carabiner, which I happen to have right here, you can actually hook those carabiners right to the loop and come back down to the hub itself. Now again, I can do this all the way around the bag, and what this does is it gives me a little bit more versatility in strapping gear down. If I want to put one more piece of gear in the net, I can just use the loops, come back over to the hub, and shove that piece of gear in underneath those two loop systems that come down. And finally, with the loop system, if I've got a larger pack, something in the range of 90 to 100 liters, I might just take that secondary loop and attach it straight to the pack attach, giving me all the coverage I need to expand the full length of a larger size pack. So there you have it. That's the pack net in a nutshell, secured onto a bag. It's a great solution. To see some of the other solutions that you can use the pack net for, check out the video section of our website. In there, we show you a couple other features, including how to take the pack net and scale it down to a small day pack. Thanks for watching.